Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I get to walk you around a 2022 Newmar Supreme Air 4590. So a bunk bed model. Um, just while we're kind of zoomed out there, a couple things to notice. First, this is the new Ibis exterior graphics. So beautiful full body paint, kind of has a nice little green hint to it, which is really cool. Uh, the two Gerard Nova awnings up here now notice they are pretty much full length they go all the way from the cutoff of the front cap to the cutoff of the rear cap now both of these are electric they can be controlled individually and they also have wind sensors built into them i'm going to retract one of them just so you guys can see how they retract so i just retracted it from the actual awning controller back here there is other ways to control these awnings you have a remote control there's also a controller on the inside. Now also part of that Gerard Nova awning package, you get the window awnings just to keep the sun from beating down into the coach, help you out on those hot Arizona days. And then every window on this coach is going to be a dual pane tinted window, which will be better for insulation both against the weather as well as noise um, while you're sitting in a campground. We'll walk around the exterior of this coach first and then we'll head inside. Up in this front compartment, just a nice big storage. Coming back one more, we've got two things going on here. One, we've got our HWH hydraulic pump. So this is gonna be used to run our leveling jacks as well as two of our three slide outs on this coach. Back behind that, we've got the new Oasis Chinook system. Uh, very similar to the Oasis system that you're used to seeing in New Mars. Only difference is you have a two zone system now instead of a one zone, so you can control heat in two different zones at two different temperatures. Back behind that, another big storage compartment. A couple things that Newmar throws in. We've got an air hose that you can use for filling up your tires using the onboard air compressor. Your air valves for if you were to be pulling a big, uh, big trailer that needed air brakes, this is gonna be your connections for that. Coming back behind the door, another nice big storage compartment. So something that I'm always really bad about pointing out while I'm walking around the exterior of these coaches, um, this coach is equipped with the 360 degree camera. So if we look right up here, you'll see one camera that's looking straight down not straight down, but probably about 10 feet out from the coach. Um, that can give you a couple different things. One, security, if you're sitting on inside your coach at night, you hear something weird, you can just turn the camera on and look at what's going on out there. Two, if you're you know, uh, trying to back into a tight spot, you can use that camera rather than having to have spotters. Just a couple extra safety features there. Oops. On the bottom, We've got our 43 inch Samsung HD TV. This is going to be a smart TV. And down below that, we've got our Bose soundbar. That is going to be the sound for this TV. Now you, with that Bose soundbar, you can also hook it up to your phone via Bluetooth, listen to Spotify, Apple Car, or iTunes, whatever you have available. I do like having it down here. If you're sitting in your lawn chair, it's a very nice viewing angle of this 43 inch TV. And then here in the back, we've got another big storage. This is a 39 inch by 56 inch manual tray. So it just slides out nice and easy. Doesn't really take a lot of pressure. Now on this tray, we've got our toolkit for our central vacuum system and then the hitch attachments, which we'll get to in just a minute here. But this is a two and five sixteenths as well as a two inch ball on this hitch. We've got a sleeve that will, uh, for those of you who tow a vehicle, that you could use this sleeve, connect to the hitch. I'll explain that in a minute. Now, also in this compartment, we've got two 110 volt outlets. These two white boxes are gonna be the controllers for our awning, so that's how I retracted the awning earlier. Over here, we've got our actual central vacuum system, so that's where we're gonna change the filter, plug the hose in, whatever you need to do there. In the very rear of this coach, just another nice big storage compartment. This is a full pass through down below as well as up on top. You get a good view of the frame rails there. 
Now, another thing you can see in these two compartments is some of the Star Foundation. The Star Foundation is a Newmar exclusive thing. So essentially what it, does, or what it means to you is Newmar goes in and reinforces this entire chassis to make it one, more durable, two, more stable driving down the road, and three, actually a little bit quieter while you're driving down the road as well. Back in the back, you've got a hydraulic or a gas prop assisted lift door here, and that opens up more storage in this rear cap. So you've got some nice big trays along here, a couple extra quarts of oil, um, an extra belt, whatever you need, good place to keep it. And then down below, you've got a nice long storage compartment. You could put, you know, like a little giant extendable ladder maybe just a regular ladder in there, fishing poles, uh, any of your longer equipment can definitely fit in that one. On this rear cap, we've got full fiberglass. Now we do have another camera here. So that's gonna be your backup camera. Now the cool thing about these cameras is we can adjust the angle of them a little bit. So if you're trying to back up to a trailer, we can make it look straight down on that hitch so that you can see where you're going. Or we can push it out a little bit if you're just trying to back into a spot. So. On the hitch, we've got a 30,000 pound towing capacity. That ball that I showed you earlier, that is rated for a 32,000 pounds. So with this whole hitch, you have 30,000 pounds and a 3,000 pound vertical weight. So your tongue weight of your trailer can be up to 3,000 pounds. And also you can use it just to tow your car. So if you were gonna tow a vehicle, you, know, you don't have a ball mount. So all you do, you slide that little sleeve in here, pin it, and then you just slide your blue ox or whatever tow bar you have into the sleeve. Okay, so nice big, or each one of your hitch att attachments did come with its own kingpin. So you don't have to worry about trying to find one, Newmar threw them in. Over here on the left side of it, that's gonna be our seven way connector, just for your trailer brakes, trailer lights. Right here, we've got camera prep for a stacker trailer. So if you have a stacker trailer that has a camera on the back of it, we can actually look at that through the dash of this motorhome. And then right there, just an additional stacker trailer connection. Oh, all the lights on this coach are going to be LED. So that's just good for longevity. You don't have to worry about swapping lights out every other year. And then coming over to the pass or driver's side, I'm sorry. This is the other side of that big pass through bay. Now Newmar does throw in a couple extra tiles. When we get inside, you'll see we have a full tile floor. Newmar throws in a couple extra tiles just in case you ever had an issue with one. Now on this coach, this is considered a luxury motorhome. We've got the Onan 12,500 watt quiet diesel generator. Now this diesel generator will pull its fuel directly off of the 100 gallon fuel tank that is attached to this motorhome, that this motorhome comes with. Forward of that, just some hose storage here for that gray and black tank hose. Now, while we're over on this side, we'll make note, we've got two more of these window awnings. This one's gonna be for the bedroom window. And then the big one up front here is going to be just for that, uh, the living room window. And then one more camera up top. So that will give us the view of the left side of the motorhome, the driver's side of the motorhome. This is gonna be our whole house water bay. So a couple things going on. First things first, stainless steel uh, backer plate here. Now each of these, everywhere where we have a label, that is actually etched on. It's not a sticker that's gonna peel, fade, crack, fall off. So we've got gray and black tank rinse valves, whole, or, uh, exterior shower with hot and cold water, low point drains. Our water inlet hose is on a reel. So when we're done camping, push a button, it'll wind itself back in there. RV turbo SantaCon system. So that is a macerator pump rather than having your traditional gray and black gravity dump. Now Newmar does a great job by giving you the option to gravity dump it in case this were to ever fail. Uh, gray and black tang opening valve. So instead of having traditional valves that you pull, all you're gonna do, push the button, it opens each valve. Water tank or water fill valve. And then there's a little control panel here. It's gonna be hard to see because we still have the protective film on it. But this is gonna tell us our water levels. So we've got 63 in fresh right now, 39 in gray. We can also turn the water pump on and off. We can fill, and then we can also turn on some of these exterior lights from this panel so that we can see while we're out here working in the dark. 
very well designed, uh, nice and clean, easy to see what you're doing. Forward of that, we've got our 50 amp power cord also on a reel. So you pull it out when you're done, push a button, and away it goes. Newmar puts a little uh, pass through there it's with a rubber boot on it so it doesn't let dirt in but you don't have to have this door open to have that cord out and then forward of that we've got our Xantrex 3000 watt inverter uh, which will convert the 12 volt DC power to 110 volt AC power primarily you're only going to use that when you're boondocking or do not have your generator or an exterior power source And then we've got our eight six volt AGM house batteries. So these are each 100 amp hour batteries, 800 amp hours of battery power total for you boondockers. And then in conjunction with that, this coach is optioned out with the four 100 watt solar panels. So you have 400 watts of solar. So if you're out boondocking, you will always have a charging source on there without running your generator as long as it's sunny out. Right here, this is gonna be your chassis batteries. Now they do put them in a protective casing here, but there's three 12 volt uh, chassis batteries there just for starting the engine. And then forward of that, we've got our 100 gallon diesel fuel tank, as well as our DEF tank and the tank for our Oasis Glycol. So now that air hose I showed you in the front compartment this is where we're going to hook it up if we need to uh, if we need to fill up our tires or beach toys whatever you need to do this is where we'll hook that hose to so going back to 360 degree camera we've got a camera here as well as a it's symmetrical on the other side so you have a camera on the other side now these are going to be your blinker cameras so if i was to turn on my left blinker this camera would light up and what it's gonna do is eliminate all the blind spots down the driver's side of this motorhome. While we're here, we've got power adjusting convex mirrors. And then up in the front of this motorhome, we've got the ever so beautiful DD13. That is a 12.8 liter turbo diesel. It'll produce 505 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. That's what's gonna give you that 30, that's what's gonna power that 30,000 pound towing capacity. Now on this coach, they also put, or on this engine, they also put a 300 amp alternator, and that's gonna be what charges those house batteries or chassis batteries while you're driving down the road to keep your residential refrigerator going in conjunction with that 3,000 watt inverter. So just while we're kind of talking about chassis stuff, we have a 309 inch wheelbase, so that's from the front tire to the first axle here. So 335 inches total wheelbase, that would be from the front tire all the way to the back tire. So now on these back axles, this is a 40,000 40, pound rear axle, um, they're 20,000 pounds each, but on a tandem axle, it does come in conjunction, so 40,000 total. And then 18,000 pound front axle. So 58,000 pounds total GVWR. That is gonna be the max weight that you wanna be while you're driving down the road. Come around the front again. This is gonna be the last camera that I'm gonna point out. Looking straight down at the ground in front of you. So if you're navigating those tight spaces, just a really, uh, good, really good to be able to see directly in front of you uh, for some peace of mind. Notice the caliber C9 grill with the new Mar logo engraved in it. Looks really, really good. Down below, we've got the radar for our on-guard collision mitigation system. Now that is gonna act as adaptive cruise control. Up in the window, we've also got the lane keeping assistance. Oh, um, just a couple things, oh, real quick. One of the big benefits that I always like about Super C's is the ability to get into it and out of it without having to go all the way to the back. So let's just say you stop for a few minutes fueled up now you're ready to get back in it you've got a handle here there's a handle here and there's a handle up here so really easy to get in and out of plenty of room uh, there's really no feeling like sitting in a super c and looking over the hood it's a really awesome feeling but very very easy to get in and out of now this is about a 20 inch step here so for those of you maybe some mobility issues 
one of my favorite things about Newmar uh, Supreme Airs is they do put the HWH hydraulic triple step on the main entrance door. So right here, we probably have a two inch step coming into this coach, which makes it a very nice, gentle walkway as you come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door. So right now I do have this coach completely closed up. All the slides are closed, just so that you can see what it's like. So I can still very easily get back to the bedroom area. Right here is gonna be my bunks. They're unobstructed. Right here, we've got the half bathroom. Very easy to get into. And then in the 4590, the refrigerator is so open with the slides out it's not even a problem and then coming up towards the cab area it gets a little tight but nothing you can't sidestep through fairly easily so we'll go ahead and get this thing opened up so the driver's side slide your full wall slide the off door side is a hydraulic slide out so what's really cool about hydraulic slide outs is they actually go out and then they drop down and become flush with the rest of the floor. So now it's all the way extended and down it goes. So now we don't have any step up onto this slide out. The other thing that's cool about this is one, we don't have carpet because there's no seam to hide. Newmar calls it more floor. Gives you the same tile floor all the way throughout. On the 4590, your passenger side front slide out is also a hydraulic slide out. So this is actually a pretty good view because you can see the gap between the uh, dinette there. So it's all the way out now and it drops down and now we're flush with the rest of the floor. The 4590 is a triple slide model. So the last slide is going to be just a standard electric. Push button and the only thing on this slide out is going to be your or your king bed but it really does open up this bedroom very nicely so just while we're waiting on this the 4590 does come standard with three 15,000 btu air conditionings with heat pumps built into them i didn't say it when we were talking about water but it does have 150 gallons of fresh water 80 gallons of black or gray water and 60 gallons of black water um, just that's the standard on it so we're actually going to start in the back today and then we'll work our way forward so coming back into the master bathroom we've got an emergency egress door now with this egress door if we pull this little panel off there is a little retractable ladder that'll pop out so you don't have to jump out of there if you don't want to and it's reusable so if you have stuff that you're just trying to load in here you know hanging clothes or something like that you could absolutely just open this door have someone in here someone on the outside just handing stuff through the door up above the toilet here really nice big medicine cabinet down below Demetric Dometic porcelain electric flush toilet coming over to the vanity area we do have another huge medicine cabinet two 110 volt outlets in that nice big mirror i love the inlaid lighting it's very classy feeling under mount sink three nice big drawers toothpaste hair brushes curling iron really big cabinet all your toiletries and then three smaller drawers over to the right of the cabinet here up above a really nice big hanging wardrobe so there's a couple things that are cool about this one we've got our safe in the back corner here keep some valuables in and then down below we've got just this little seat aligned area now personally i would probably find out find a way to put a laundry hamper in there and just have a laundry chute kind of thing Down below that, more drawers for wardrobe area. And then 
Your Splendid stacked washer and dryer right as you enter, enter the bathroom. Really nice place here, unobstructed, so you can work, put clothes in without having to fight, you know, being in front of a toilet or something like that. Plenty of room. And then coming over here, very residential style shower. We've got our shampoo, conditioner, and body wash bottles built in. Little folding step stool, or step stool, little folding uh, stool here for those of you who need to sit down while you're taking a shower. Hot and cold water. Now you've got two wands. You've got the handheld sprayer wand as well as the rain style up top. The aqua riser system or aqua view system so you know when you have hot water available. And then we've got the valve here just to uh, change between these two wands and then one assist handle. So nice big shower. Very comfortable. Coming into the master bedroom area, we've got a 72 by 80 king bed with some storage underneath. So underneath right now, we're going to see two folding chairs. That's for the dinette, two leafs for the dinette, and then just a nice rug for the exterior of the motorhome while you're camping. But 72 inches wide by 80 inches long, that is a full king bed. Up above the bed, we've got really nice big cabinets here, two 110 volt outlets with pass throughs underneath on each side. So you can run your cords down through there or your hoses through there for a CPAP if you wanted to. And then up underneath this bed, underneath these cabinets, we do have a screen. Now that will have just general coach controls. It'll have um, lighting, shades, all those controls on there. We'll go over those screens here in just a minute. In the front of the bedroom, two more nice big hanging wardrobes. Another Samsung 43 inch HD TV. And then, so we're going to have five drawers that are going to be the same size as these. You got two more down below here. Notice everything is quiet closed. And then an AV compartment. So Newmar did go away from putting Blu ray players in them. Um, it just didn't get the reaction they wanted. So now we've got an HDMI cable here that will connect directly to that Samsung HDTV. So if you wanted to put a DVD player or Blue Player player in there, you could. And that's also where you'll hook up a satellite receiver if you decide to use the satellite system that is on this coach. Right here, entrance to the bedroom. Now this is going to be one of our silver leaf panels, okay? So this is going to be all of our coach controls built into one panel. So we've got AC power, we can see what our power source is. DC power, it'll tell us one, our battery level, two, it's gonna show us if we're charging, if we're dying, um, whatever you, or whatever the battery is doing, it'll tell you here. Generator, so we can start and stop. We can also set our gener auto generator start. Water control, so fresh gray black tank capac or levels. Water pump on and off, auto fill on and off and then climate control. So this is where we're gonna control our three roof mounted air conditionings as well as our two zones of heat from that Oasis Chinook system. So coming forward on the 4590 kind of midship here, we've got just a half bath. It's actually a very nice big half bath. Now Newmar does an awesome job here because all of our fuses as well as our 110 volt circuit breakers are just in this half bath tucked away in this cabinet. You don't necessarily see them if you don't want to. And then small medicine cabinet there. And then another one. I'm gonna squeeze out of here and let the camera in. So down below solid surf sound on top and then this is that big medicine cabinet I was talking about. And then down below, there is some extra storage for toiletries and things like that. Okay, so the benefit to a 4590 floor plan is it is the bunkhouse model. So you have two bunks about midship here. This little removable ladder, just take it off and stow it away while you're driving down the road. But these are 30 inches wide by 72 inches long. Okay, both of them are the same size. The top bunk does have a 250 pound capacity, the bottom not so much. 
couple little drawers for storage underneath them. Again, quiet, close. And then each bunk does have its own 110 volt outlet, two of them. And then it also has controls for its shades inside of the bunk. So if we were to push one of those buttons, these shades would drop down. Just You could either have the day shades or blackout shades. Now with the bunks, now our cameraman's back and into the bedroom right now. We do have a little pocket door here that will close, lock, um, just so you in the master bedroom would have complete privacy. And then also in front of the bunks, we have another pocket door that will cut the bunks off from the rest of the coach, the front of the coach, so that the people in the bunks could have some privacy as well. Now while we're standing here, so we went over the silver leaf screen a little bit. This is gonna be part of your silver leaf system. There are eight of these screens around this coach. So the silver leaf system is pretty much your full coach control. This is gonna be all of your subsystems. All right, so we can turn on and off all the lights. So let's just go hall lights off. And these lights above our head are gonna turn off. Now you could also control our shades, our fans, so we're gonna have three fans in here. We're gonna have one in the um, one in the half bath, one in the master bath, and then one in the kitchen. Can turn them all on and off from here. And then we can also look at our levels, both battery as well as gray, black, and uh, fresh water in that on that tank as well. So eight of those controls around this motorhome. Now the ones like on the slide outs are more specific to the slide outs. This one and the one right next to the entry door are gonna be more of general coach controls as well. Coming into the kitchen area here, right off the bat, we've got a nice big can pantry. Now these shelves can move up and down and full extensions. And then when you push them back in, if you push it just a little farther, it actually locks in place there so that you don't get any rattles. It's not gonna fly open while you're driving down the road. Up above the refrigerator here, huge storage compartment. Now, personally, this would probably be where my pots and pans would go, but that's a very big, deep storage, so you're definitely probably gonna need a step stool to be able to get the stuff in the very back of it. Down below that, 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool residential refrigerator. So this thing's still set up for transport, but. And then down below that, we've got the freezer drawer. With the ice tray, there is an ice maker built into this, as well as the water on the door. In the actual kitchen area here, full length drawers, all quiet clothes. That one's just a bit deeper than the others. Now, this drawer here comes with the built-in silverware tray. Right now, we're gonna see a lot of stuff in it. So we've got remotes for our sound bars, our TVs, our bed. I didn't mention it, but that is a sleep number bed, so we've got a remote control for that. This coach is optioned out with the dishwasher on a drawer. And then, big storage compartment down below. Pull-out drawers. They even make those quite close, and this one's going to be the drawer for your trash can. Little pop down here for our dirty sponges, cleaning, uh, cleaning brushes, things like that. And then one more compartment here. So what's really cool is Newmar actually made a spot right here for our, so that's for our cover for our true induction cooktop. Real easy. Up top. Solid surface countertop, two bowl undermount sink, residential style faucet with the sprayer nozzle. And that's gonna bring us over here to our two burner true induction, induction cooktop. Newmar does a really good job. They put the uh, cutting boards on the bottom of your stove covers. So if I were to flip it over, it would look just like the rest of the countertop. I had it flipped up, but cutting board there, two burner true induction cooktop, just means you have to have the uh, steel pans in order to use it, or magnetic pans. So um, what's really cool, Numar makes it so it's removable, so you can pull it out, just a standard 110 volt plug on the back, take it outside and cook with it, 
when it's time to bring it back in, plug it in, drop it down in its spot, and you're ready to cook inside. Up top, 30 inch convection microwave. And then a huge cabinet here as well. Again, Numar is awesome and does full or uh, pull out drawers just to make your storage more accessible. Which is going to bring us into the living room area. So all villa furniture in this 2022 Numar Supreme Air. Now this coach did have the option for the two ottomans. So we're sitting on this couch. You can kick your feet up and relax just a little bit. Nice and comfortable. And then this couch is going to be just a jackknife sofa sleeper. Um, we can order them with like a hide a bed or a trifold sofa sleeper, just depending on what you want. Now, right next to this is gonna be another one of our control panels. So I'm gonna turn this one on. So we're gonna show you some of the things this can do. So let's go kitchen and living room nightshades. So with a touch of one button, we can black out the entire front end of this motorhome or the entire living room area of this motorhome. So that goes both the door side, the off door side. The only thing it will not do is the front for safety reasons. And we can also do day shades from that as well. Now, also from this couch, we can lift up our TV. So back behind me here, going up, we've got a 50 inch Samsung HD TV. What I really love about televators is we've had a nice big window and I'll show it again. I'll put the TV down and show it again. But we've got a nice big window over here on the door side. And if we're not actively using the TV, we can have it tucked away and have let in all that natural light from the window. This coach is optioned out with the Eurobooth dinette. So very big and comfortable. Just pull on it. And now we can put those two leaves that we saw underneath the bed right in here, as well as those two folding chairs. Those two folding chairs do match the decor of this motorhome. And then I'm going to put this TV down just so everyone can see that window. And away it goes. So just while that's going down, the, or the exterior I said was IBIS. That's going to be the graphics. The interior decor package is also IBIS. So that's going to be our fabric colors, our wallboard color, the uh, valance wraps, um, all those. That's going to be the IBIS decor. Now for wood, this one does have the sable maple hardwood. And that is the high gloss finish on the sable maple wood. So going back into some more technical stuff. Well, First, let's show them the window. So nice big window, something you see on big luxury coaches. Let's in a lot of nat natural light. Now, if that awning wasn't there, we'd get a little bit more, but that's why that awning is there, just to keep you from letting in too much air. Push the buttons, and that awning goes ahead and retracts. And now we have you have that full view of that big window. So one thing that is very important in my opinion that Newmar does is they actually put a step cover here. So this is important for one, walking around here at night, maybe you don't have the lights on, you don't wanna step down in that hole and fall into the door. Two, if you have pets um, while they're, and they're traveling back here while you're driving, it gives them a little bit of extra room to walk around and move around, help that anxiety stay down. But this step cover, it does come up and it's flush with the floor, it's got uh, it's got a good capacity. I can stand on it. No problem. It doesn't feel shaky. It doesn't feel unsecured um, Very very stable platform right there So in this compartment up top here We've got the control for our wine guard traveler. So that's gonna be a wine guard sk 300 Set up for direct TV now. We did option this coach with a two satellite option We'll get to that, but that is just gonna be a stationary satellite. So not in motion, but it will be an HD satellite over to the right, we've got the controls for our Gerard awnings. So from here, channel one is going to be the front awning, channel two is gonna be the back. If you go to zero, you're gonna be controlling both of them at once. We can put them in, out, turn the lights on, and lock them all from inside of this motorhome. Right here, we've got the two switches for our awnings on the exterior windows. 
Um, you just saw me push those to put them in. Those are just your window awnings. Wi-Fi router, entry lock. So we could lock the entry door up here. And then this right here, another great feature, this is your power baggage door lock. So all of your doors underneath can be locked right here, push of a button. There's a couple other places you can do it as well. You'll have a key fob and you can also do it on that silver leaf screen. The step cover that I showed you right down below here, entry and exit step, or exit and entry step. So this one's gonna be just for the step, that, that HWH hydraulic step. It'll come in and out every time. Right now, if I turn it off, once I open the door, it'll stay out until I turn the key on. This is the R Wine Guard RTT20B. That is gonna be your in, in motion satellite. Battery disconnect switch just for extended storage. Security lights, patio light, external LEDs. And these are our switches for our slide outs. The two front slide outs, your hydraulic slide outs. And then last but not least, you have your HWH computerized leveling. That's gonna be the four leveling jacks down below. When you get to your campground, all you have to do is hold the auto level button for about a second. A blue light will start flashing. It'll drop all the jacks and level you out. And that's going to bring us, that's pretty much all the motorhome stuff. So now we can talk about the chassis of the cab a little bit. Um, we looked at the exterior, but this is the Freightliner M2112 chassis. So coming up into this cab area, Numar specifically designed these seats for this chassis. So you're not sitting on, you know, cheap Freightliner seats. Over here on the left side, we've got just a couple switches, headlights, cruise control switches over on the left side. So headlights on, set cruise, resume, accelerate, decelerate. And then this is just your master speed control. Up here to the left, we've got our air horn. So all the little kids come by going like this, you gotta honk the horn at them. We did upgrade it to an SCI steering wheel, just a little bit nicer than what a standard Freightliner steering wheel is. And you also have a city horn in here as well, so that you can, uh, if you're in the city or just you know want to get someone's attention, you can just hit that instead of using the big air horn. Over here, just a light flash, let truckers know you're pat or that they're past you if you're pass if they're passing you. Right here, we've got the controls for the Allison 4000 TRV transmission, so that is going to be a six-speed automatic transmission power windows for the cab so just both push button mirror heat for those cold and foggy days power locks for the cab just these two front passenger doors parking brake release trailer parking brake release your two spit two stage engine brake that is just going to be a standard jake brake light test so that's just going to flash all the lights on this motorhome if uh if it fails it'll let you know that way you know you have a light out somewhere locking differential regen switch Another locking differential. Battery boost, just in case your battery's ever died, you can use, so if your, if your chassis battery ever died and you couldn't start the engine, we could actually push this button and it'll pull the power off of the chassis or the house batteries to help get the engine started in an emergency situation. Start and stop your generator from the cab. Docking lights, courtesy lights, and then cab ceiling lights just above our head, uh, kind of a map light set up. And then just standard HVAC controls. And last switch on the dash is going to be a shade up, shade down. That is going to be for the big skylight over the cab. And just a push button, it comes down. Now that is a dual pane uh, tinted window as well. That is actually an automotive grade window. So if you were to somehow take a rock to it or something, you don't have to worry about it shattering. It's made the exact same as a windshield is made on your vehicle. New for 2022. Newmar did put a different navigation system in it. This is the GoNav system. So, go ahead and go. Cool thing about GoNav and just RV navigation in general, um, this coach is 45 feet long, roughly 13 feet tall. So we can actually set our preferences as of how we want to travel. So we can turn off freeways. If you wanted to take nothing but back roads across America, you could turn off freeways and it would take you on every two lane country road in the country. Um, but in here, we can set vehicle, class A, for now, well, we'll go class C. And then we can set our parameters of our vehicle. So we can say that it's 14, 45 feet long, 58,000 pounds, and 
13 feet tall and that way it won't take us down a route that we can't make it down now that's especially important if we're not using freeways um, now you can obviously always use freeways go back to that but it does give you the option to turn them off now we can also cancel out toll roads so you don't get taken down toll roads you can cancel out ferries i don't know that i'd want to go on a ferry and then unpaved roads things like that that way we're not driving down roads that are going to damage our motorhome so back up above this cab area instead of doing the overhead bunk newmar has opted to make this just a big storage area just cabinets all the way around now in this cabinet we do have a couple things going on another one of these silver leaf panels that's going to be another full coach control so we can look at ac power dc power generator climate whatever we need to um, same as the one in the bedroom just a different place to look at it and then more storage all the way around the cab um, and i think that's pretty much going to wrap up my walkthrough of this 2022 Newmar Supreme Air 4590. Um, if there are any questions, feel free to give me a call at 303-482-6375. Again, I'm Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.